I'd like to start uh, by saying that there's been massive flooding that has occurred in the Samburu area, whereby we know that uh, some hotels are in the danger of being washed away. And we have the permanent secretary, the acting permanent secretary in the Ministry of uh, Tourism. They are going to come here and give us an update of what is really happening so that people do not uh, go into a panic mode. I'm here to give you a brief on what is happening at Samburu. And what is happening there is that uh, um, a flood broke from, from Mount Kenya, Abadeas River, thereby flooding, uh, there, but thereby flooding the Wasonyiro River and breaking its banks. This has caused floods uh, which have affected our main lodges in Samburu area namely Shaba, Intrabit, Lesamis, and Samburu Serena. When these floods took place, the government swung in, including the members of uh, the private sector, and have been addressing uh, the floods. The teams that are there are Kenya Airways, Kenya Police Airways, KWAs, uh, British Airways and, and Tropical uh, Airways. The key officials that are on the ground right now assisting in the operations management are Director, uh, Director of Tourism uh, Lagat and Director of National Disaster Operations. What so far has happened is that they have evacuated all the tourists and so far uh, all of them are safe, have uh, been taken to safe places. We also want to report that uh, they have not only addressed uh, the, the, the rescue of the tourists, but even uh, members of the community that have been affected in that area. We have been told that they have been provision, medical provision, and even <coughs> food provision. So the teams have managed, I would say, to handle this situation fairly, very effectively. We had uh, a few properties almost submerged uh, in the early morning. Uh, and the properties are uh, Samburu uh, Intrepids, Samburu Serena, there's uh, Atua Enkop, uh, Ashnil Hotel, uh, Elephant Watch, uh, and Save the Elephant and License Camp. But the reports that are reaching us now is that uh, the water levels are receding and the rescue operations are ongoing. Uh, we managed to send uh, five uh, helicopters in the morning and uh, some of these helicopters uh, were equipped with, uh, with uh, hoisting and uh, 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 equipment to be able to remove uh, uh, people who are in uh, relative uh, high areas and not on the ground. Uh, we did have, as a member of the uh, crisis team, we did have uh, some form of uh, uh, prior planning uh, because we had foreseen uh, the, the El Nino rains uh, coming. Uh, as far back as uh, October last year. So what is happening now is just a response uh, to that plan. But also, uh, the Ministry, the ministry of, Sp of Special Programs had already uh, sent uh, food and non-food items to the Isiolo area in preparation. So should the situation worsen, uh, a team of uh, both the private sector and government uh, mobilized and they will be there to assist. It's good for people to know that Everything is in control, the government is aware. We have sent helicopters, we've sent our troops, we've sent our teams on the ground, and so everything is being done. And uh, you know, these floods can be very dangerous, and like the flash floods that come. Uh, Madam Pierce, Asante Sana, and uh, Kano and Banamacharya are uh, for coming to update on this. We will be posting an update at the top of every hour uh, on my office's website, so you can check that is communication.go.ke. That is communication.go.ke to update if there are any fatalities or what is happening. We will get some photos, we'll upload them there for you so that you can have access. But the whole idea is that uh, the situation is under control. Kenya, thank you and God bless you.